Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before we get to that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for the growth of my channel and for the fantastic interaction that we're having in the comments. I'm just amazed. We have people from all over the world coming to my channel. And they're all getting along and enjoying each other's company and sharing great music and daily news. So I just have to thank you. Thank you very much. I just have three items today for the news. The first one is Florida Supreme Court has ruled there's no right to abortion in the Florida Constitution. Now, <clears throat> I try to stay away from controversial issues, but there was something in this article that struck me, and so I wanted to share it with you. It says, today the Florida Supreme Court, oh, what is that word? Issued a groundbreaking opinion that upholds the 15-week abortion ban and overrules the prior abortion opinions going back to the final abor first abortion opinion in 1989. That's amazing to me. That the They're talking about the Florida Supreme Court decisions going back to 1989, and this court has overturned all of them. That's really... Amazing to me. I don't know how that happens. I have, I don't have any legal training, but I have spent a lot of time reading legal briefs and trying to understand legal cases. And I know that it's not very often that a court will overturn previous rulings by the same court. It's, it's unusual for that to happen. So this really struck me as very unusual. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I thought I'd bring it to your attention. The second item is called Hoyagate. Will Georgetown president have to testify? And <clears throat> I'm not going to read this story to you, but if you read the story, what you'll find is that Georgetown has been at the center of all of the lawfare that's being conducted against President Trump. And they actually were planning, uh, supposedly, a revolution in 2020 if Trump won again. So now Congress is calling them on the carpet, wants to know what's going on. And of course, they're a nonprofit university because they're Catholic. And so they could lose their nonprofit status, which would be quite a blow to them. And just in the last year, according to this article, or the last five years, Georgetown has received $970 million in federal aid. So if they cut that off, that would be a blow as well. We'll have to keep an eye on that case and see what happens. And then the last item, again, I'm not going to show it to you. I'm just going to give you the links in the description. Why are Americans so fat? A radical group of online scientists has a theory. Now, I read this entire article. It's fairly lengthy, but you might find it interesting. What I found interesting was that People in Kuwait and in the South Pacific Islands are more obese than Americans are. That's, that's hard for me to believe. I thought America was the most obese country in the world. But that apparently is not the case. And they've uncovered some interesting uh, information that just in the last 50 years, obesity has exploded across the world in every country, even Italy where they're known for their uh, lean physiques, has, has, gone, has now reached 20% in obesity. And Kuwait, that's weird. I don't know why, but these scientists are studying the issue and they're trying to figure out what could be the, uh, the factor that influences this worldwide. So it's not just an American problem, apparently. It's a problem worldwide. And it's getting worse. It's, it's exploding across the world. So I don't know what they'll find out, but it'll be interesting to keep an eye on them and see what they're up to. As always, I pray for you. I pray that you'll have an abundant life, that you'll live a long time and that you'll be healthy and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. 
And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will keep your requests known to God. You will make your requests known to God. Excuse me. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era vet out.